The U.S. Embassy is honored to partner with the English Language Center on this and many other programs as we work together to bring excellent English language training to more Timorese. Teaching is a high calling, and even in the best of circumstances, it comes with many challenges. COVID-19 has introduced even more difficulties, and I know that teachers here and around the world have had a very difficult year. We hope that this seminar can help Timorese teachers by giving them some tools and skills that they can use immediately in their classrooms. English skills open the door for so many opportunities. It can be a path to a new job, career, travel, and a connection to new networks and ideas. It is the language of global business and education. We support a wide variety of other English language learning programs in Timor-Leste. We love to see Timorese teachers growing professionally and Timorese students succeed in their English studies. Obrigado, Barak. teachers. Welcome to our very first professional development to teachers. I am Herculano Amaral and this is my friend Angela Dezus. We would like to acknowledge the UNTL English Language Center for organizing this program with their funding support from the U.S. Embassy in Dili. We're going to explore our English textbooks at what we know as Manual du Alun. We'll try different ways on how to use the textbooks creatively, so stay tuned for our presentations. First of all, I would like to provide you some tips on how to include speaking activities in your lesson. All right. Before we going to continue, please note that after teaching the content of the speaking skill, the students must do something with the language. And activities should be meaningful, contextualized, collaborative, engaging, and fun. So let's have a look. Example of speaking activities from Manual do Alono. Instruction 1. You are going to discuss setting up a school volunteer project. In groups, decide on a project you would like to implement in your school. Choose one of these projects or think of one of your own. Setting up a homework club. Helping younger children with reading skills. Keeping the school clean, organizing after school activities. Instruction two, in your group, make a list of all the things that need to be done. For example, collect books, find a space, get tools, talk to the head teacher, and so on and on. Instruction three, now, Discuss the division of the work. Remember to use the future will for immediate decisions. For example, I'll get the tools because I know someone who might repair it. Why are speaking skills important to learn? Speaking skills are one of the most important skills we learn as they allow us to communicate with others and express our thoughts and feelings. Speaking skills can be separated into formal and informal speaking context. And we use both types of speaking skills in a variety of contexts throughout life. Another way to teach speaking skills is that that speaking activities should be fun and interactive. One of the best methods to teach speaking skills is the role play. So, what is the role play and how to do it? Role plays are a fun and creative way for students to practice the language functions in a realistic situation. To do a role play, you need to create a situation and a role for the students to act out. Divide the students into 
partners or in small groups and give them their roles. Allow the students time to prepare their role play and plan what they will say and do. Let the students share their role plays in front of their class. The second activity for speaking is find someone who survey. And find someone who activity is a speaking activity which involves learners trying to find someone in the group who matches a description. For example, the group are practicing using the present perfect for experiences. Amongst the group, there are learners who have to find someone who has been abroad, find someone who has eaten something really strange, find someone who has done a bungee jump. Please remember that in the classroom, this is a very versatile activity, which can be adapted to almost any language aim. For example, learners can practice multi-words verbs or find someone who has fallen out with their partner or character vocabulary find someone who is a lone wolf you may have a practice by using this kind of form anyway another way to teach speaking skill is using the board games board games are tabletop games that typically use pieces moved or placed on a pre-marked board and often include elements of table, card, role-playing, and miniatures games as well. So, the advantages of using this activity are fun and interactive way to practice the language, mostly oral grammar, work with large classes, create your own games based on your language focus. Let's practice it by asking these questions. Have you ever or when? Have you ever cooked dinner for someone? Have you ever read a novel in English? Have you ever eaten really spicy food? Have you ever lost your cell phone? We're going to look at how to teach listening skills in a classroom. There are many ways to teach listening skills in a classroom. It is important to note that encouraging students to predict as they listen, focus on the purpose of their listening, listen to each other in a class, compare responses and discuss references, guess meaning from context, Activate the background knowledge of topics presented. Practice listening English and speak in it outside class whenever possible. Therefore, effective teaching of listening skills involves three processes. Before listening, while listening, and after listening. First, before listening. Schema building. Schema building is activate learners' previous knowledge about a topic. Prediction. Focus learners' attention on the topic or the task at hand by having them make prediction. Focus the listening. Make sure learners are clear on the focus of the listening task at hand. Why listening? Prediction. It is important to guide students that prediction can be also be an effective tool while listening to a given passage. Repeat listening. Students may feel anxious in listening activities. Repeating audio recording is to help students succeed in their listening tasks. After listening, checking comprehension. Ask students general to a specific question to check their understanding. Analyzing language. Choose vocabulary or expression from the listening passage and present them for further understanding of related functional language or structures.
practicing language. Have students practice language in a control or semi-control setting using pair or group exercise. Let's see how does it look in a classroom. Let's see the lesson from Manual do Aluno English, décimo primeiro ano de escolaridade in focus on listening. Page 78, they talk about climate change. As you can see, these pictures indicate the impact of climate change. Step 1 is schema building, prediction, and focus on listening. Divide students into group and discuss their background, information, and opinions of climate change. Then, discuss the title of the unit proceeding to explain listening tasks. Students are then asked to write their answer and elicit to class. Step 2 is prediction and repeat listening. Play the tape or CD and ask students to write down the impact of climate change and keyword. The answer could be extinction of animal species, flooding of coastal cities, landslides, deforestation, there are more forest fires. If students face difficulties, repeat their recording as possible until they complete their task. Step 3. Checking comprehension, analyzing and practicing language. Ask students to compare the answers to other students. Asking questions to check student comprehension. Questions could be, what is climate change? How does climate change affect people and environment? There are many strategies of teaching listening skills. We hope the strategies that we have explored are helpful for English teachers. However, we encourage the teacher to be creative and discover further interactive learning strategies. In this part, I will provide you some tips on how to facilitate reading activities in your classroom. As an English teacher, one of the roles is to make sure students will be given an effective way to read. And the given reading should be fun and enjoyable too. Please have a look the sample of reading activities from Manual Dualun. Instruction 1. Read the text and place the headings in the spaces. A. A movement for youth. B. Scouting's mission is. C. A social force. D. Meeting real niche.